Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand how to download Git. I have mentioned the high level steps here, but let's see it in action. So open your browser and just search for Git download. Alternately, you can use the link as well what I have provided this particular link. This is the official website. You go to downloads section and here based on what kind of machine you have, you select that particular option. So I have Windows, so I'll select Windows, but whatever uh, device you have, you select accordingly. Now, If I click on Windows, I'll have the option for 32 bit or 64 bit. You go with the standalone installer and I have 64 bit machine. So I'll click on this. If you have 32 bit, you select on this. Okay. The moment you click on this, your download will get started. I will just uh, cancel this because I already have it. Once the file is downloaded, you go to your file. You a good idea is to run as administrator so click on that you will get a pop-up you will just say yes and uh, it will give some agreements you have to only click next next so since I already have it is asking to uh, override that I'll just override that to just to showcase this so you'll click on next next you can take all the standard options if you're getting started And then it will start extracting the files and then installing uh, git on your machine once it is installed uh, i'll tell you how to validate that it is installed successfully or not uh, i am planning to make a full length tutorial step by step on how to uh, work with git so do let me know if you like this video and do mention that you need the next part so i'll work on it accordingly Okay, so once this is completed, uh, basically all the uh, git commands works on terminals. Uh, terminals are basically, you have your command prompt, uh, uh, you have uh, terminals for your uh, Eclipse and all. So you can use all of those things. But in case of Windows, they will give this git bash. So uh, if you want to take a look at release notes, you can select this. I'll deselect this and I'll click on this. So this is a terminal provided by git altogether. So if I'll click on finish, it will launch this terminal. Okay. Let me maximize this. So you will see something like this and it will point to a folder. I'll talk about how to change the folder, how to configure and get started in the next video. But here you can just type git here and press enter. And it, if it is displaying some jargons like this, then it means that git has installed properly. Other thing what you can do is you can type git hyphen version so it will tell that git is installed as well as what version is there so if i'll type it like that it will say okay uh, sorry it is a double hyphen version so it will give git version this particular version is installed on your machine so that's a pretty easy process in terms of installing and validating if it is there I have I will mention the steps as well in the description section and I'll make further videos on this so do let me know if this is useful thank you very much have a great day bye bye